today, I need to repot this beautiful fiddly fig. I got a cactus mix. This cactus mix is by E.B. Stone. It is an organic mix for indoor and outdoor succulents. And really what that means is that the drainage is key. And that's what a fiddly fig needs. Another reason I got this though, rather than like a tropical plant or just a plain indoor um, soil that everybody tends to buy for it is that I wanted to get vegan soil. A lot of stuff has like bat guano or um, worm castings and things like that and or bone meal and feather meal. So this is just bark and different kind of pulps. But yeah, super vegan, really good. I've used this before. The only thing with this, you want to use gloves. It's very splintery because it's all bark and pieces of woods and stuff. So let's get started. Also, why am I planting inside? I know that's kind of weird, but it's really cold outside. You can't tell, it looks kind of nice, but it's really cold out and really windy and it would not be good to have her outside like that. So what I've got now is doubled up Trader Joe's bag that I just got from today. And this will kind of help me with some of the mess, but I have a vacuum, nothing, nothing a little air suction can't fix. guy. I'm making such a mess. Who cares? Life's about having fun. When it's more fun to do it inside. Yeah. I'm just kind of digging in here and lightly, very lightly loosening up the rest of the sides that I didn't want to do too much of until we got her in her new home. Got some new space. So I've already put, I'd say a couple inches, maybe two to three inches at the bottom of new fresh soil. So that will be some nice room to grow downward. And then I've broken up all this crazy root ball system going on. I really pushed it too long waiting for this, but I wanted to do the research before I did this, and I also just had so much going on with her. You know, all these brown spots that were happening as soon as I got her home, and so I've been working with a lot. I didn't want to stress her out too much, but now she's been doing a lot better. I know that from this angle, you can see some of the holes and stuff, which may not look that good, but um, that is from drying out and in my case it was air blowing from my vent on her leaves too constantly and it was just the slightest bit so I didn't really notice it but it was enough to start to brown her leaves and now that I've moved the vent fan it's a lot better. The sad part is that once you've got brown it ain't going anywhere. So. It's not gonna heal no matter how healthy it gets after that. Um, the brown, it's already gone. So what you can do is you can cut, and that's kind of what I've done, but you just wanna be careful. You do not wanna cut into the green. So you kinda wanna leave a little bit of brown on the edges because if you cut into the green, you're gonna start the browning all over again and it'll go back even further and then you gotta start from square one, which I learned the hard way with too. So just be gentle with them. You know, they're living and 
They're adapting to your environment. These are tropical plants. Portland is not a tropical place, so that's why we've gotta take good care. You can come smell, it's okay. It's Doug's parents' dog. Here. Don't eat it. Yeah, you're just smelling it. Good boy. And last time we watched him, <laughs> look at him. Last time we watched him, we made him a vegan doggy. So this time, he's been vegan for a while now. He's looking awesome, his coat is great. He lost some weight. He used to do this like weird snorting thing. Fritters, <laughs> he's trying to bite the, <laughs> he wants to bite the uh, pot that I'm using. All right, she's all repotted. I'm so happy. She already, I can just feel it. She's so happy to be in here. So, gonna put her back in this cute little thing I have for me. Might as well do this one while we're at it. This baby would love to be put into a bigger pot. So I'm actually gonna put her into Fiona's pot. And hopefully that won't be too big of a jump. I'm really hoping not. so happy I thought that this one was gonna be too big of a jump because look at the difference here look how happy she is in this 